coverage of digital broadcast has finally landed in the Philippines as the Korean Radio Promotion Association or RAPA granted its digital transmitter to the Gateway UHF Broadcasting. The digital transmitter turnover ceremony held at the Heritage Hotel Manila on February 27, 2014 is among the most remarkable highlights in the history of Gateway 45 UHF Broadcasting, which is the frequency carrier of Hope Channel Philippines. Since the time it was established, Gateway 45 had been using analog transmitter in airing its programs and was often faced with signal and transmission concerns. Now, as these innovative changes arise, Gateway 45 with 3 ABN Philippines and Hope Channel Philippines as its affiliates will never be left behind in terms of technology. Dr. Cha Yang Shin, Vice President and CEO of RAPA, related how their company has been looking for a country that deserves their partnership and assistance in enhancing their communication and broadcasting. Dr. Cha explained that they have chosen Gateway 45 because of its positive programming and added that they want the Philippines to experience its benefits. He also committed that their company will provide training, equipment, and assistance as Gateway 45 acquires expertise and knowledge in handling the digital transmitter. RAFA stands for Korea Radio Promotion Association, which is aimed to is aimed to promote radio wave-related technology and business uh, for the Korean people. And it has the important mission to promote cooperation with other countries uh, for the purpose of broadening the benefits of digital communication and digital broadcasting. The gateway UHF broadcasting is the right partner because they have a positive and aggressive attitude uh, towards transition from analog to digital broadcasting for the audience in Philippines. I am convinced that that way UHF broadcasting will have the best digital broadcasting system in this country. In terms of viewers' perception, Engineer Ronnie Suarez of IBC 13 commented that the Filipinos can adapt to this latest digital technology and would appreciate the benefits of high quality viewing. Kaya naman ang mga Pilipino in converting to digital. Uh, siguro ang nakikita ko lang na medyo problematic is yung financial side ng uh, Pilipinas dahil siyempre may kailangan mag magkaroon ng panibagong investment for digital. Pero technically, kung sa mga engineers natin, mga technicians, uh, supportive naman yung mga Japanese para i-train tayo. Then, napakarami siguro nag-start ito ng late 90s yung regarding sa digital. So, napakaraming napag-aralan na yung mga engineers natin na mga technicians dito sa Pilipinas. So sa viewer experience naman, ano, kung paano pagbabago doon sa kanilang pinapanood, ay talagang parang nanood sila ng DVD or in tape. Talagang maayos yung picture quality. No? So talagang clear na yung kanilang mapapanood. Engineer Dio Jordan from ABS-CBN also expressed the same sentiments. Um, ABS-CBN, uh, our stations, are already invested on testing the, the digital since 2008. So uh, now we're, we're, airing, we're testing in Central Luzon and Mega Manila. So I mean, from Laguna to, to Baguio, you can uh, already pick up the digital. So, but for the rest of the broadcasters, they have tested, but they, uh, some already invested on buying uh, transmitters, but uh, I think it will. Uh, they will need more investment to to cover the the whole uh, the whole nation. For the uh, viewers, our current uh, monitors now are not capable of receiving digital, so they need to buy uh, a converter. So, parang merong there's a receiver um, that converts the digital to analog. So they can use, they still use their old TV, 
but they have to buy a set of box. So the set of box will convert the the digital signal and convert it to digit, uh, analog. Maybe the the price range will be on the uh, 1,500 to 2,500 maybe. So they have to invest on that to receive the digital. NBUC Communications Director Pastor Jose Orbe Jr. expressed his excitement in acquiring this digital transmitter. He hopes that Hope Channel will reach more heights in digital broadcast as it will be able to produce more programs with high definition content. Uh, very, very excited because uh, digital platform will improve a lot uh, of the viewer's experience, uh, richer video quality, the, the sound will be crispier, you know, everything will be uh, more lively in digital platform. And this would also make us produce more HD content, a challenge on our part, but uh, expanding our horizon with the viewer's experience. So Hope Channel is very excited to step into this digital broadcast. As Gateway UHF Broadcasting obtains this digital advancement, it promises to utilize every bit of it to promote the gospel and serve the people through socially responsible programming. This is Angel Sauro reporting for Hope Today.